The materials needed for today's video is a size 7 millimeter crochet hook. You will need some stitch markers, a pair of scissors, four weight yarn. If you're following along with me, I am using two different colors. You can do this in two colors or you can do it solid. You will want a medium four weight yarn. I will be using the color charcoal in the Red Heart Super Saver. And I will also be using this Red Heart Super Saver in the color Burgundy. So let's go ahead and get started. Here I'm going to be showing you how I measured my dog for this sweatshirt. I am going to be providing a stitch count for this. It will fit most medium to large dogs, but here I'm going to show you where I measure. I measure around her neck. I like to go ahead and measure the chest area before um, where the legs are. So you see that right here? Next, I will go ahead and check underneath her belly. I will also check how wide her legs are. Again, I will be providing a stitch count for this pattern, so you do not need to measure, but if you would like a custom fit, go ahead and measure these parts of your Hello dog. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be making this lovely, beginner friendly, easy dog sweatshirt. It is for a medium to a large size dog. This does fit on my Border Collie. It does fit on my sister's Pitbull Lab Mix. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. Uh, please make sure to hit that notification bell and subscribe so that you get notified when I release new tutorials. Let's go ahead and take a look at the materials needed. Okay, so for today, my main color, my primary color is going to be my charcoal. So I wanna go ahead, start with a slip knot and chain up nine stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine okay so now what we want okay so now that we have our nine chain stitches we want to single crochet into every stitch across so we will have a total of eight single crochets so we're going to skip the first chain on our hook go into the next draw up a loop and single crochet so we're just going to work that all the way back down to the other side. And we are just going to be working this back and forth. Again, I did go ahead and measure my dog and I'm going to be working this in the medium to large size. Okay. Now that I have reached the end of my row, I'm going to chain up one and turn my work. Now we are going to be working into the back loop only, so not in between both of the stitches, um, but you see we kind of have this V here. We are just going to simply work one single crochet into the back loop of every stitch. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So we will simply chain up one and turn our work and continue to do this. We're going to work a total of 50 rows. Uh, something that I like to do when I'm going through and it helps me out is once I get to my 10th row, I like to go ahead and stick a stitch marker just so that I can keep track. Um, so again, if you're following along with me, go ahead, do a total of 50 rows of single crochets, working into the back loop only. 
and I will meet you back here for the next part of this video. Okay, so as you see here, I have gone ahead and done my 50 rows. So now simply what we are going to do is fold the two ends together and we are going to slip stitch all the way across. So the way we are going to do this is we are going to insert our hook into the first stitch and we're going to find the first stitch on the opposite side, pull our yarn through and through the loop on our hook. So we are simply going to do that all the way across. We want to make sure that we're going through both sides of our work as we do this. So go ahead and continue to do this all the way over to the other end and I will meet you back here. Okay, so now that I have slip stitched all the way around, we are joined. Um, so what we're going to do now is we are going to work a foundation turning chain. However, we will be working in the round. So what we're going to do in this very next space right here, we're going to go in and pull up a loop. We're going to make a single crochet. So I'm going to refer this as the first loop and the second loop. So go ahead, just make your normal single crochet, just like that. And now we see we have the front loop or the first loop and the second loop. So now we're going to put our hook in through the second loop, pull through and do another single crochet. If you would prefer to just do a chain three, you can do a chain three. However, that is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to go ahead and put a stitch marker right at the top of this stitch, just so that I'm going to work back into there when we get to the round two. If you do want to do the chain up three method, chain up three, work a double crochet back into that stitch, and then put the stitch marker at the top of the first double crochet. So now what we're going to do for round one, I'm going to refer to this as round one, um, we are going to just simply put one double crochet into each of the spaces along the edge. So wherever you um, see a single crochet spot, that is where we will work a double crochet. So here into the next, right here, you can do another one. Um, so we are, excuse me, right here. So we are going to have a total of 50 double crochets when we get all the way to the end. Um, so just continue to go into each of the bumps here and go ahead and double count when you're done by counting your stitches, but just go into each of these guys, double crochet all the way around. And I will meet you back here after my rounds and I will double check by counting my stitches and then we will move on to round two. Okay, so here we have done 50 double crochets all the way around. We are going to do a very tight double crochet to the top of the first double crochet of the previous round. So when I draw through these first two loops, I just want to make sure I pull that tight, go through the other two, kind of pull that tight as well, and go ahead and replace your stitch marker. So for round two, we simply want to do one double crochet all the way around into every stitch. So just one into every single stitch until we come back to our stitch marker. Go ahead, do that, and I will meet you back here for round three. Something I do want to mention is stop at the one stitch before the stitch marker, because we are going to change our color after this. So stop um, when you get to this stitch, because when we work into this one, we are going to change our color. Go ahead and do that, and I will meet you back to move on to round three. Okay, so here I am at the end of round two, 
and you see I have one more stitch left before my stitch marker. So what I want to do is go ahead, drop a loop so you have three on your hook, yarn over, pull through two. Now we have two left on our hook. So what we want to do, I'm gonna go ahead and snip my yarn just like that. You then want to grab your second color Okay, so here is my second color, and I'm not going to make a slip knot. Simply what I'm going to do is just hold that on my hook and pull it through both of those loops. And then I just like to go ahead, oops, make a knot just so that these don't come undone. And that is how I like to work my color changes. So now as you see, the color on my hook is my new color. So what I wanna do next is take out my stitch marker and we are going to do one double crochet into that first stitch and move up our marker. So that is going to be our first stitch. Gosh, this color is beautiful. Okay, I went ahead and adjusted the lighting so that you can really see how pretty this red is. It's um, that burgundy. So in this row for round three, we are going to be doing increases. So we are going to increase in the fifth stitch of this row. So we already worked our first double crochet. We are going to go ahead and work four more and the fifth one we're going to do two. So here's one, here's two, three, four, and here into the fifth stitch we're going to work two double crochets. One and two. Okay, so continuing we're going to work four more double crochet so we're going to work one here one here one here one here and then in the fifth stitch we will work two double crochets into the same stitch so I'll show this to you one more time so here's one going into the next we have two and the next we have three four and into the fifth we will do two double crochets so continue to do this all the way around for round three, and I will meet you back here and I will show you how to do round four. Okay, so I am back at my stitch marker for the next row. We are simply going to double crochet into the first stitch and move up our marker. This right here is going to be the belly end. So where our stitch marker is, this is where their belly is going to be. Um, well, I guess the underside of their chest. Um, okay, so for the round four, we are just going to work one double crochet into every stitch. So after the previous rounds increase, we will have, we have 60 double crochets. So go ahead and just work one into every single stitch all the way around until you get back to the stitch marker. Um, I do want to note, um, okay, and here I am for round five. So round five is going to be exactly the same as round four. So we are simply going to do one double crochet into every single stitch, but we are going to again stop at the last stitch before the marker because we are going to change back to um, our second color, or excuse me, the first color. So I'm going to change back to the gray. But so for round five, just go ahead and simply double crochet all the way around. Okay, so here I am at the stitch before my stitch marker. I'm going to go ahead and pull through two. I already cut my yarn. Uh, grab up the other color, pull that through. And remember, at this point, I like to tie my yarns. 
just so that they don't come undone. Gosh, I am just loving this color of maroon. It's beautiful. Okay, so we are moving on to row six. And on row six, we are going to be increasing on the sixth, sixth stitch. So we are going to work one double crochet into that first stitch where the marker was. And I like to work over my tail ends, just that way I can go through and cut anything that's left over. I don't have to worry about weaving anything in. So let's go ahead and do five double crochets um, or one double crochet across the next five stitches. So there's one, here's two, and three, four, five, and right here in the sixth stitch, I'm going to work two double crochets. So again, I will work six, or excuse me, five, and in the sixth, I will do two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and in the sixth stitch, we're gonna do two. So continue to do that all the way around for row six, and I will meet you back here. Okay, so we have finished round six with our increase, ending with a double two double crochets, um, so ending with an increase stitch there. So row, uh, rows seven and eight, we do just want to work one double crochet into every stitch. Um, so just work two more rounds uh, with no increases. And I will meet you back here for row nine. And in row nine, we will go ahead and begin making the leg holes. So just do these round seven and eight, and I'll meet you back here for round nine. Okay, so here I am back for row nine. And what I want to do for this one is start working our legs. So if you are following with my sizing, we're gonna go ahead and work five double crochets, one double crochet across each of the next five stitches. So there's one, here's two, three, four, and five. Now we are going to chain up 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, so again, we are working in the rounds, remember? Okay, so I just chained up 10. Now what I want to do is skip 10 stitches, and then we will double crochet into the 10th stitch. So let's see here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and into the 10th stitch, we do want to double crochet right into that stitch. Okay, so now we have our leg hoe. And now what we want to do is double crochet into the next 41 um, stitches. So one, two, three, four. So go ahead and do that all the way across 41. Um, and I will meet you back here. We will work the other leg. Okay, so I have worked 41 double crochets. So something I do want to note from where we made the leg, this does count as a double crochet. So this will be one, two, continue to count all the way across for a total of 41 double crochets. Now, after you have done 41, we are going to chain up 10. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So remember, we want to do these, you know, kind of loosely because it is going to be for their legs. And then you want to skip ten, or excuse me, skip nine and double crochet into the tenth stitch. So let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And here's the tenth stitch. So I'm going to double crochet in there. Okay. So this is going to count as a double crochet. So we are going to do four more, one over the next four stitches, one, two, three, and four. Perfect. So now we are going to move on to round 10. For round 10, we are simply just going to do one double crochet into each of the stitches. I will show you how we are going to work the double crochets over the leg stitches. Um, and at the end of this row, so when we get to the stitch right before the stitch marker, we are going to cut off and change our color. So I do want you to keep that in mind before you go ahead and join um, or continue on for the next round. Because on round 11, we will be working in our red color. Okay, so here I am at my stitches, and you do want to work into these, making sure that you are not twisting, because it will make it very tricky to work into. Um, so just making sure that your stitches are not twisted. You just want to go ahead, work a double crochet over the top of all these chains until you get to the other side. And then once you get to the other side, you are simply going to continue to double crochet all the way around. When you get to the other side of the, for the second leg, you will do the same thing that you're doing for this one. Just double crocheting all the way over the top here. So go ahead and do this. Remember to stop one stitch before the stitch marker so that we can change our color. Um, do that and I will meet you back here. We will move on uh, to row 11. Okay guys, so here I am at the end of row 10, moving on to row 11. I went ahead and I changed my color. And so row 11, we are just going to do one double crochet into each stitch using our red or our secondary color. So rows 11, 12, 13, and 14 we will be doing with the red. At the end of row 14 we will be changing to color gray. So go ahead and work four rows with your secondary color or your red color. No increases, just simply work all the way across and at the end of the fourth row stop at the stitch before the stitch marker and I will meet you back here. Okay, so here I am back. I ended up working five rows uh, with the with the red here. So I went ahead and worked rows 11 through 15. Now here I am at the end of row 15 and I am going to change back over to my gray. So I'm going to just go ahead, pull that up and attach it just like that and I'm going to go ahead and tie it just like I had before again just to secure it and now we are going to work another five rows of double crochet so increase anything like that we're going to work five more rows with the gray so go ahead work rows 16 17 18 19 and 20 at the end of row 20 we will be changing colors back to our red. So go ahead, work five more rounds, and I will meet you back here at the end of row 20. Okay, so here I am. I went ahead and changed my color at the end of row 20, and I'm just going to go ahead and tie my knot. Now, moving on for the next 
two rows, so rows 21 and 22, we will simply be doing a double crochet into every single stitch. So for the next two rows, we will be doing this in the red. We will then do one more row with the gray and then we will make the back flap. So go ahead, do two more rows and I will meet you back here. Okay, it's looking good. Now that we have worked rounds 21 and 22, we're going to move on to round 23. So the stitch right before the marker, again, remember, we're going to pull through two of those loops, grab up our new color, and go ahead and attach that. Um, let's see here, and then tie. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I will uh, meet you guys back here what we're going to do is we are simply going to work one row of double crochet with the gray and then we'll tie off so go ahead attach your gray yarn work one row of double crochet I will meet you back at the end of row 23 we will fasten off I will show you where to place your markers and we will go ahead and work the last part for the back flap Okay, so here I am at the stitch before my stitch marker. I'm just going to go ahead and do a half double crochet and then I'm going to slip stitch where my uh, stitch marker was. So into the first stitch, we're simply going to slip stitch, chain up one, pull that tight and tie a knot. And then we are going to put our stitch marker back into where we tied off at. So now what we want to do is we are going to start working the back flap. So go ahead and grab two more stitch markers. And what I want you to do is count 20 stitches to the left and 20 stitches to the right um, from your marker. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. We're going to put a marker right there. And now we're gonna do the same going the other way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So go ahead and put a stitch marker right there. So then if we see here, now as you can see here, we're looking at the back side of our sweatshirt. And so from one point to the other that we just marked off, we will have 32 sti stitches, including the ones that we have our marker in. So it's 32 stitches. This is where we had tied off. We can go ahead and just take that stitch marker out so that the only two stitches that we have are for the back flap. Um, so here's the underside. Now we are going to start working in rows back and forth from the back. So we wanna turn it to where the, the work that we see, um, you do, you're not looking at where the legs are. So start on the right side. Go ahead and grab up your main color yarn. So for me, this is my silver. And we want to go ahead and attach and the way I like to attach, um, so the way I like to attach my yarn is I just pull that through, chain up one. Now I'm gonna chain up two more, one and two. Just kind of pull this back one tight. Okay, so this is where my stitch marker is at. So then I want to work a double crochet back into that same spot and replace my stitch marker. Okay, so we are going to work one double crochet for a total of 32 double crochets. So we'll work all the way back and we will end in the opposite side stitch marker. So go ahead and work a total of 32 double crochets and I will meet you back here. Remember, at this point, we are not working in the rounds. We are um, simply working in rows back and forth along the back side of our sweatshirt. 
So go ahead and do this. I will meet you back at the end of row one. Okay, so here I am at the end of my first row. Um, we do want to put our last stitch in where that stitch marker is. Um, at this point, you can move up your stitch marker. We don't need to because we are just going to be working back and forth. Um, so I like to do the foundation turning chain to turn my work. If you would like to do a chain three and turn, you can. But if you're following along with me, we are simply going to turn our work. And let's just go ahead and move the stitch marker while we work this stitch. Um, so we are going to do a single crochet into that first stitch. You see we have our first loop and our second loop. So we're going to end up working a single crochet back through this loop. So go ahead, yarn over and pull through both of our loops. Not in the first loop, but in the second loop right here. We're going to stick our hook in, pull up a loop yarn over, pull through two. So that's the foundation turning chain, which is what I like to do on the edges of my work. So if you would like, you can go ahead and put your marker right there. And now we are simply going to work one double crochet all the way across the row. So rows two and three, we are simply going to work one double crochet into every stitch. Uh, and you can turn your work, work the foundation turning chain, and continue to make your stitches. So remember, you will have a total of 32 stitches in this round. So go ahead, work this round row two, go ahead and work row three. Again, like I said, when you get to the end, if you prefer to do a chain three and turn, you can most definitely do that. It will not screw up the pattern. And I will meet you back here for row four. Stop one stitch before the end of row three, because we are going to go ahead and change back over to our red yarn. Okay, so I went ahead and worked my rounds two and three. Now I have changed my color to back to my red. I'm going to turn my work. And for this one, I am actually going to chain up one, two, and turn my work. So now we are going to decrease for rounds four, five, six, and seven. So starting for row four, we are going to yarn over, put our hook into the first loop, yarn over, pull through two. We're going to yarn over, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop. Now we have four loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through all three loops on the hook. So this will now be our first stitch. So continuing with our red, we're going to work our way back down until we get to the last two stitches and we will work a decrease. So go ahead and work your way back down and I will meet you right before the end of the row. Okay, so here I am at the end of row four. So I'm going to decrease, a double crochet decrease over these next two stitches. So I'm going to yarn over go through two stitches, yarn over, insert my hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through the remaining three stitches on my hook. I am then going to chain up two, turn my work, and I will be doing a decrease over the next two stitches for row five. And I will also be doing this at the end of the row as well. So this is going to be a decreased row. Again, we are only decreasing over the last two stitches and the first two stitches. Other than that, we will be working um, just one double crochet all the way across for row five. So go ahead and do that. Work your decrease at the end of row five and I will meet you back here for row six. 
Okay, so here I am at the end of my row and I'm going to work my decrease. Now for row six, we are going to go ahead and chain two, turn our work. This is going to be the last time we will be using this color. So for row six, we are going to go ahead and begin with a decrease just like we did for the previous rows and work across to the end. However, at the end, we are going to be changing back to our gray. So go ahead, work row six. I will meet you at the last two stitches and show you how we are going to work our color change. Okay, so here I am at the end of row six and I'm going to start working my decrease stitch. Now I have my four loops on the hook. I'm gonna go ahead and pull through two. So I have three left and I'm going to grab up my new color and pull through those remaining three loops. So especially since I just worked a decrease, I want to make sure to tie a really good knot right here at the corner um, and go ahead chain up two and turn your work. So this is row seven. This is going to be the last row and then we're going to go ahead, tie off and we will work um, around the flap that we just made. So this is what we've been working on right here and then we'll go ahead and work around. So now that we are attached for row seven, simply work a decrease. So we're going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through three. So we do want to decrease on this row as well. So work all the way back across. And when you get to the last two stitches right before, I will meet you back here and we will move on to the next part of this tutorial. Okay, so here I am at the end of my row and I'm simply going to finish off with a decrease, chain up one, grab my scissors and snip that off, pull up the loop, make sure it's tight, just like that. Now, what I'm gonna do is we go around and work um, the edging, I guess you would say for this. I'm going to go ahead and work over these ends as much as I can. So with your gray yarn, you do want to attach in the corner where your flap is right here. And this is just where I like to start. You do not have to start here. Um, and then I chain up one, oops, chain up one, chain up two like that and then pull this bottom really really tight so we are just going to work a single crochet all the way around I will meet you back when I get up um, to my first corner over here at the top of the flap and I'm going to show you how we're going to work the corner stitch um, but simply just single crochet into every single stitch around we just want to make this nice and even and so just go ahead and do that and I will meet you back here. Okay, so I have made my way up to the top of my corner. So what I'm going to do into this first stitch is I'm just going to work a single crochet, chain up one, and then single crochet back into that same space. So now I will be working along the back edge. I'm just going to do a single crochet all the way down. And then when I get to this corner, I'm going to do the same thing. Two single, one single crochet, chain up one, one single crochet. And then I will work my way back down and I will meet you back to finish this off and move on to the legs. Okay, so here I am. I have made it all the way back to the beginning um, where I had attached so now I'm just going to slip stitch. I've already cut my yarn. I'm going to chain up one, pull off, and pull this tight. Okay, you guys, so we have finished our flap. We have the neck and the back done. If we flip it over, we do see that we have the back flap here. 
Now what I want to do is work around the, uh, the legs. You do not have to work around the legs. You can just go around and sew in your ends. Um, but I like to do just one round of single crochet around the legs. Okay, so here's one of my leg holes. I'm simply going to put my hook into one of the corners and pull up a loop and draw through and then I will chain up one, pull this tight in the back, chain up, um, don't chain up again. So now we're just simply going to work a single crochet into that space and a single crochet into every space around. You do want to kind of work this loosely. Um, and then you just work it all the way around until you get back to where you started and just slip stitch and fasten off. So go ahead and do that for both of your legs. And then go ahead and sew in your ends. I'll show you what it looks like when I am done. Okay, friends, so there you have it. That's what this sweatshirt looks like once it is all done. I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Don't forget that notification bell so you get notified when I release new tutorials. Please leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys thought. Thank you so much for tuning in today and have a wonderful day.